What's up, everybody? Kyle Marley here with Vanish and Ink. I'm here with my buddy uh, Luke Dancy. Luke, what's shaking? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. What's shaking? How's it going? So, sure. for those who don't know, Luke, Luke is a fantastic magician who lives here in Las Vegas as well. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't be with each other. Um, uh, and he's a great magic creator, magic consultant, consulted for you know big TV guys and stuff. Uh, and most people probably know him from your effects that you release, uh, and one we're talking about today, which is Skycap. Um, so uh, thanks for chatting with us, first of all. Yeah, it's fun, man. I'm excited. I haven't had a chance to really be on this side of the magic market in a while. You know, yeah. I don't put out a ton of stuff, so this is fun for me to see it again. You know, this new version of something that came out, God, almost five years ago now. Has it really like... been that long? Wow. Okay. Um, so first of all, for those who don't know, Skycap was something released... Uh, around five years ago, I guess. Uh, and the effect is that you have a water bottle, uh, in this case, normally a water bottle or, or some form of bottle. Uh, you show the cap, you then place uh, a napkin or some object over the cap. You don't have to do it that way. Uh, and then you can either pass like a rolled up dollar bill or a straw or an ink pen or anything that, you know, work uh, magically through the cap into the bottle and then everything can be examined. So that was the original version, right? Yeah, and no switch. Even in the original, that was the one thing you know Paul was very adamant about was we want to do this where the same cap that's used before and after, there's no switch, right. uh, and it can all be handed out and examined. But I'm so excited for what he did with the second one. Right. This is intense, man. It's super cool. So the second one, so explain to us kind of briefly what what is different between the first one and the second one. Yeah, I mean, I listen... I'm very plugged in online, and I listen to a lot of the feedback from the original. While people liked it, one of the biggest questions was well, can I get it in other colors? You know, I don't want to do it with just a water bottle. I want to do it with soda, you know, right. Coke or Pepsi or whatever. And so that was one thing that we heard right away. Um, then there were some other things that people said about, you know, workers out there, the reset. I really wish they didn't have to, like, reset this each time. And then just the durability of the gimmick in general. Uh, and so all of those things were addressed, and then some, with the new version. So Right, yeah. and, and correct me if I'm wrong, so the previous version you couldn't really have them examine it before, right? I mean, technically you could. Like okay. in the original trailer, I do have someone open up the bottle, look inside, and make the emphasis more on the bottle than the cap. So to them, it feels like they of checked course. out everything before and after. But technically, it's magicians. Right. No, they can't look at the cap and check it out before. But in that. this case, you can because of the, oh, new, yeah. the new thing. So they can examine it fully, like fully examine it before and after yeah. the effect. Yeah, and whether that's an improvement or not is to be determined because for me, if you're putting all the emphasis on the cat before, of course, I don't know if that actually helps the trick or not, but right. yes, from a selling point, yeah, you can hand it out, let them look at it before and after, and they won't find a thing. So. Great, and, and the new method, uh, just to talk about, I don't want to go into super detail, but just the, the setup, you mentioned workers, now you can consistently perform the effect over and over and over again if you wish like if you were doing it in a table hopping situation or you know some type of event or whatever you could redo it as many times as you want without having to turn your back do something and then come back yeah the turnaround yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right i mean it's when i saw the finished result of this the final result of skycap 2.0 i'm like okay and i want to say too once i get past that I was blown away by the work that went into it. And I want to give a shout out too before I kind of go into too much more because this isn't just a me thing. You know, Paul Harris took this on many, many years ago and his amazing team is what helped make all this happen. Uh, I brought them the idea and some concepts. Paul fleshed it out, worked with Ro Gilbert and Uday and they did this and worked it out. The original was a lot of fun. This new version almost didn't happen multiple times. And so I just want to say openly to the team, thank you for all the help and believing in it again. Because I know a lot of people think, oh, another 2.0 version of something. Sure. I mean, guys, like, this is everything I hoped it would be and then some. And we didn't just put this out to do it again. We did it because you asked and we listened. Right. So, That's yeah. great. Yeah. And then, and also to kind of on that note, so I, I've noticed just from, you know, discussing with the distributor and, and, and things like that, uh, you know, because we have, you know, our stock and our quantity of skycap coming in and whatnot um it's it seems like there this is a very low number was produced and and why and why was that 
Yeah, I mean, look, the word limited gets thrown around a lot in the magic right. industry, and it's a lot of times used as a ploy to get people to buy quickly. This is no BS. Um, it's still being determined right now. These things are really, really tough to make. The craftsmanship that goes into them, the precision that needs to be uh, for each and every one because you're buying this single gimmick that there's a lot of love and time that goes into each and every one of them. So, Well, also, you, you and I mentioned earlier the, the quality control as well. Yeah, there's a lot of quality control. I mean, I think each one that you get, there's like a little card here uh, that says this has been checked out by so-and-so. Uh, and if you have any issues, contact this person. But there's in each one, you get a guarantee that this has been checked out. It's like when you buy a new shirt. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, and that's the reason why. And it's still, like I said, we're trying to figure out whether or not, maybe, you know, whether there's enough interest. But I think more specifically, um, if we can continue to keep up the quantities involved for this, because it is such a hassle to make, but it is such a fun toy to have. <laughs> sure, of course. Um, and I think yeah. probably like you know, there's not too much to be said because it's just you know very straightforward. In the trailer, you see you know full performances, but I think maybe one question um, besides the difference in the gimmicks, of course, if someone has Sky uh, Skycap One and Sky now and, and is considering the second one. Uh, are they also going to be learning like different routines and handlings or something like that? Like what, what else is different besides the gimmick? Well, that's a good question. Yeah, there's a lot of new handlings, a lot of new routines, a lot of new stuff that's been added on the performance side too. So the original DVD, if you want to call it a DVD now, it's all digital now, um, that, all of that original content is part of this project too. So you get the original stuff from me and Alex Linian, uh, all the concepts and ideas, and then you get the new stuff that can be used with the new gimmicks. You sure. can adapt the new method because there are some differences and you can use it to your advantage for some of the presentations and performances of the trick. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the before, you get the after, and you get the new and improved gimmicks. So it's all there for you on the download. So That's yeah. great. And like I, like you, I know just, you just said this, but just to clarify, so not only are you getting the instructions from the new version, but you're also getting the full DVD you know, now digitized uh, from the previous version. So you're getting two full instructionals, uh, which is really great that you guys added that because you didn't have to do that. Uh, so it's just a nice, you know, gesture, I think. Yeah, it's cool. And I've seen some questions online about, I bought the original. Um, does that mean I get the new one for, you know, a discount or a price? And I'll let dealers decide what they're doing there. But I think I want to say from someone that's really connected to this project, it's like, this isn't the same thing. Sure, yeah, it's completely different. And I don't say that to like get people to buy into it again, but it's like it's not the same. It is different, and because it's been so long since the original, I feel like it can stand on its own now. So um, I did want to say that because I know I've seen people talking about it, and you definitely covered the differences, which I'm glad you brought up because there are quite a few. And look, I just got to say too, like I don't like to just put out a lot of material for a reason. It's because the magic market has enough of that already. So, like, I really, really, really believe in this thing. I have since day one. Uh, it took a lot of effort, a lot of time, and Paul put a lot of money into it to get it to where it was to, in the beginning. And so for this to come out again, I could be more excited and just from a personal level, glad to have the damn thing in my hands sure, because it's what I want it to be. <laughs> right. Well, uh, cool, man. I'm sure we've answered probably most of all the questions. Uh, is there anything else you think you think of? I can't think of anything else. No, I just want to say I've had a lot of initial uh, people reaching out to me saying that they really like it and all that, and I want to say thank you you know, for all that. And once again, thank you to the team. Without the Paul Harris team, none of this would have happened. I'm not trying to pretend like I'm the one-man sure, show here Chris. that did all this. A lot of help, a lot of effort, and I'm one of a few people that helped bring this uh, out. So thank you to Paul and his team as well. And thank you for uh reaching out and wanting to chat with me about this stuff too. It's Anytime. fun. So. All right, man. Well, thanks so much for letting us know. Yeah, it, bud. All right, talk to you soon.